If you have a Thomas Duplex Safe Light, don't spend a ton of money on new filters when you can make them yourself for dirt cheap. Welcome to the Naked Photographer, where I'll be exposing myself. No, 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 I won't. Mm -hmm. That's not better in my head. A pair of filters for this Safe Light will cost you $50. And if you have to replace both pair, you're looking at an expenditure of $100 just for new filters for this light. There's no reason to spend that kind of money because the filters inside of here are really inexpensive and it's easy to do. I was very fortunate a few years ago to be working at a school that needed a new set of filters, so we ordered some. And what I found was printed right on the filter material inside were the names of what was used. It was Roscoe brand and it had the numbers of the filters. So it was very easy to just take it apart, list everything down, and then purchase the filters on my own from B&H and put them in some glass that I got from a local supplier. You can then just tape them up with whatever you like. <clears throat> So let me show you how to uh, cut the filter and tell you what filter material you need so that you can make them yourself so you can save some money for other things. And if you're in a school environment, there's no reason to spend $100 on each one of these that you use because the total thing cost me just a few dollars. So take a look at how I'm gonna make a new red filter and then you can apply that for the other ones as needed. Start with a piece of glass. This is for the smaller filter that's in the vein. So this would be a black tape or a red tape. You want to begin with a piece of glass that is 94 millimeters or 3 inches 5 eighths wide and 11 and a quarter inches long or 286 millimeters. Now I will not be going over how to cut glass in this video. Uh, I recommend you go to a glass shop or a framing shop and have them cut the glass for you or take it in your own hands and watch a video on how to cut glass. I am not going to have any of you yahoos cutting yourself and then blaming me for showing you how to do it. So. Get the glass cut, and this is what we're gonna start with. So, we're going to need Roscoe number 19 or Fire Red. The red taped filter for ortho material in black and white is going to use two pieces of the red and one piece of the white vellum that it comes with. So I now have two sheets of red, one sheet of the paper, and we're just going to sandwich this in. Make sure I don't want to trim anything. Nope, everything looks good there. And then we tape it together. So you can use whatever tape you want. You can use scotch tape, you can use electrical tape, whatever you need. The original, however, is going to use um, what's called bag tape. And this is tape used to typically bag up like candy at the uh, farmer's market and stuff like that. <clears throat> you can get this off the internet mostly. Uh, just be careful you're not buying a full case of it. So this being the red filter, I'm going to use the red tape. 
And if you're trying to make it look like the original, what they have done is use two pieces of tape. Uh, they will tape the edge, then they will tape, or they'll tape one side overlapping on the edge. So with this in here, They put one piece of tape down the glass like this. Just be careful not to cut yourself. And then fold it over. We have the line of tape down one side. Take another piece, tape it again along the opposite edge. And push it down. Now, you do not need to do it this way. If you are only interested in getting the filter in there and you have no interest in trying to make this appear like an original, you do not need to go through any of this. Just get some tape, tape it closed. The only reason I do it this way is because I was doing this for a dozen different safe lights in a university darkroom situation and I needed to be able to uh, color code it and originally I used electrical tape of the right color like red, yellow, black but um, I came across some of this and gave it a shot All right, there we have a red filter. The red filter is two sheets of Fire 19 and one piece of white vellum. The black tape is two sheets of vellum, one on either side. And then inside we have its tissue or vellum CTO uh, number 3407, then one, two, three, four pieces of Roscoe Sun 85 N.6, which is number 3406, and then another piece of 3407 and another tissue. So this is a total layer of what, eight pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Then the yellow tape filter. Notice the size difference. We've got uh, yellow is longer than the black and red, and it is wider than the black and red. This goes into the body, these go in the veins. The yellow filter is made up 
of tissue paper, one piece of the 3407, and one piece of the 3406. So the same material as the black filter, only one piece of each, and that is all. The yellow filter goes in for all applications, color material, black and white ortho, black filter for color printing material, red for orthochromatic, and black and white. And that's all there is to it. B&H sells Roscoe gels, the 20 by 24 inch size, for $7 a sheet. One sheet will do an entire filter for each color. So you only need three colors. It's $21 to get all three gels that you need for the yellow filter and for the red filter. And quite frankly, you may be even be able to get an entire set of black from the same as the yellow. If not, then just one more sheet of the 3406 and you should have everything taken care of. So it's very easy to do this. You can get glass inexpensively. Any tape will work. I use back tape like the original, but you certainly don't have to. There's no reason for you to do that unless you want it to look like the original. At the very least, I would at least color code them so you know the black from the red in case you have to swap them in and out. But if not, if you're, all you're doing is black and white, just get the red, get the yellow, and don't worry about the color of the tape. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll continue to find ways to help you save money in the darkroom as well as just general tips for photography.